Hey everybody, welcome. It's John and John with Wilkins Harley Davidson here to talk to you about 2022 and what Harley just announced. So uh, we just got done watching the world premiere, so probably with a lot of you guys as well, and uh, took some notes and wanted to run through a recap of what happened and some of the big news. And uh, first off, I know for me it was pretty pumped about the first thing we're going to talk about, which was uh, the Lowrider S and Lowrider ST models. What about what updated. about the opening? Though the whole king of the bagger discussion. Yeah, but I feel like king the, of the bagger. You're cool. giving them what they want right off the line. Let's yeah. just let's just talk briefly about king of the bagger. Kyle Wyman, yep. champion king of the bagger. Um, the opening of the premiere was awesome. I mean, very inspiring, and it led into yeah. what yeah. you're going to find out about yeah. the bikes that they released. Yeah, so that's, that's true. important. That's true. So Kyle Wyman, what did congratulations to what did he a Rogue Glide. Rogue Glide. Yeah. If you haven't watched the world premiere that just came out, it's really, really impressive. It was uh, that, that, that opening was really cool to to uh, watch them. Harley Davidson's factory race team uh, with the Screaming Eagle Rogue Glide. Takes yes. takes to takes a championship, and then now it's opening again for 2022. So it'll, it'll we're essentially starting from scratch. Well, and a lot of people on the race team are actually like people that normally just work for Harley Davidson in general. So yeah. they joined the race right. team and were like working which weekends, was probably everything. Fun for them. Yeah. It's like okay, we're in the building, we're in our office, we're working from home remotely, and it's like. But then when we can, we get to build like the national and and world champion road glide which yeah was it was impressive. very cool yeah. so okay so now you can talk about what 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 came out okay now now i can have some fun so uh so a lot of this was focused on uh further faster so it was about performance oriented items so the first one was the lowrider s so they wanted to step up uh the lowrider s uh, model in itself. So the base Lowrider S um, still gets a 117 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 motor, uh, which is awesome. Already has a heavy breather intake on it, which is really cool. Um, and it puts out 125 pound feet of torque in that soft tail chassis, which I think is awesome. Then they said, okay, a lot of these riders, oftentimes like weird, you know, like people build like club bikes or West Coast style. Um, Dynas and soft tails where they want to raise mm -hmm. up the rear suspension. They want to get more lean angle, more sport riding. So they actually increased the uh, the shocks to have 56 millimeters of stroke. Do you know what that equivalents into no. like normal inches? No. So the shock itself is about half an inch long taller. Okay. And what that does is gives you an inch more rear travel in your shock. Well, it raises up. It raises yep. the bike up too. It gives it a different appearance. And then you get about 1.3 more degrees of lean angle, which you, is actually a lot. Did you research this? Or no, did you already just, know it? Yeah, I just know, okay. man, yeah. So is that on Lowrider S and Lowrider ST? That's the same for Lowrider S and Lowrider okay. ST. So they so so yeah. bumped up the engine. Yep. From 114 to 117. Yep. 125 foot-pounds of torque. Yep. Which, oh, is you, a real, which is a real kick in the pants. I took notes, too. That's yeah. awesome, man. Uh, but talk about this Lowrider ST. I think that's what it's going to be. Yeah. We're, we're, we already have received phone calls, and this just came out. Yes. I know there were some leaks and whatnot. Yeah, there were some leaks, but, which, uh, but which blew up. We're already getting phone calls on Lowrider ST. So let's talk about what, what is a Lowrider ST. So a Lowrider ST would be We don't be have like, a picture to show them, John. It looks like... If I had one of those sparklers and it was nighttime, yeah. I could Just almost Just talk draw about it. what it is, you know? So Lowrider SC is Lowrider S, and then they put a newly uh, designed, like, uh, FXRT style fairing on the front of it. Purposely built for this bike. This yep. isn't like just a not fairing that they took yes. from somewhere. Aerodynamic, uh, the aerodynamics were built. Yep. The, the, there's a- uh, Yeah, hand sketched it originally yep. to kind of do a throwback to the FXRT, but bring it into the new age, which would cut through the air a little bit better. Sure. Um, and also has a style that aesthetically works on the bike, uh, which comes out really, really cool. Um, in doing that, a lot of people don't know is they're like, oh, can I just buy the fairing? You can't just buy the fairing because they also had to redo the triple trees and the front shock internals to match and line up with the, the RT fairing, which is awesome. So you, you, you created some stats. Did you know that they did CFD simulation? with the airflow? I'd love to know about CFD simulation. Well, do you know what CFD simulation is? I could not, I could think of an acronym, but it would not be accurate. Take a guess. People probably want to know more. They don't want to know yeah, about this. They don't want to know my guess. CFD is computational fluid dynamics. So they, oh, so they, yeah. this fairing was manufactured yeah. with the testing around the, the aerodynamics of this. What I thought was really cool as an accessory What's the best accessory for, for the Lowrider ST that you think they came out with? 
uh, for the Lowrider ST? Yeah. The audio. Yeah, the audio. The audio. This kit. audio yeah. fits beautifully inside mm -hmm. of the that fairing. What I liked about the the the, the new Lowrider ST, this fairing system, is like I can see people buying this bike that are gonna um, take it for like weekend rides and like go overnights, but also yes. just day day trips. It's just it's got saddlebags. I think the saddlebags are raised up two inches. Yep. Yeah, from what they were on like because they're very. They're identical to like the saddlebag you would have found on a sport glide. Yep. They sit two inches higher. So then the, it helps with balance, but helps with lean angle. Mm -hmm. And they pop off in a matter of minutes. Yep. So I agree with you. I think so it's weekends like, around town, that kind of thing. Great bike. around town, someone who wants something different too. Like yep. you think of how many people want like street glides and road glides, but maybe someone doesn't need that. Yep. He's like, I want something a little bit more nimble, a little bit more fun. Um, and that's going to be, you know, a heck of a performer. It's probably going to go like, a stabbed rat yeah as well so that's what we know about it right now yep okay what else do they come out with rogue glide and street glide st, ST as well S, like sam tango sam tango there you go yep okay. you can think of it as like sport would be s yeah he is touring so okay. it's like sport the sport touring. touring got versions. it yes okay go and so these are like performance bagger styles so we that's where it ties a lot into um you know the um, the bagger battle, championship. The bagger championship is because those are just built around. Okay, how do you take these, you know, traditionally 800 pound baggers and make them track worthy, and not just track worthy, but like actually perform on a track. Better so, lean angle. Lean angle, performance wise, um, some style um, edges they, there. So they took that and they said, all right, consumers are buying normal bikes, and we've seen quite a few of them. We have some here, but buying them and kind of making a performance bagger. So what if you started with something that already had a good template? Yep. And that's what they wanted to do. So what do they change on so, the Road Glide and Street Glide ST models? So the ST models are not gonna have stretch bags. They have a conventional style bag bottom, so you can still have the lean angle. Then they increased the shock, so they went with a, a taller shock on the rear, again, for lean angle. Um, a couple of things I liked was, uh, one, the drop H fuel tank script. Yeah. So it's identical to like what you'd see on the Lowrider S. Um, with the big H on there, it's symbolic of their heritage of like the race bikes Harley had in like the, in the teens early and teens, 20s. yeah, um, and in the in the seventies, I think they replicated it back yes, in the seventies. So it's that really traditional script with the the long H yes. on the front. Really cool script. And so I like that, but I also I'm a sucker for the wheels. They put bronze wheels on mm -hmm. it, and then on the front fender they did more of a, a low profile wrapper, shorter fender, which I like a lot. What I about the it, seat? Uh, well, it's solo now. But it's solo, but then that it's got, it's raised. It's raised, and then you can get the, well, they actually make like a race style seat with a raised pillion. So when you're, you know, feeding the beans, you don't slide off right. the back, yep. which some people say like they put a rider backrest on to hold them in place. Yep. That seat does that for you, which I loved. Um, on the back, they do have, did you notice the tail lights are different? I didn't. So conventional road glide and street glides will have just a turn signal, um, dual filament bulbs. This actually has a smoked LED third brake light. And the reason being is because when they raised everything up, they wanted to leave room for proper lighting for people behind you to see you a little bit huh. better. And aesthetically, they did the smoked LED because it looks good. Um, but I think it lines up really well with it. High uh, flow, uh, so the, 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 the accessories that you can get for this, it's already tuned. Uh, with the exhaust system, yep. but you can get a high flow uh, exhaust system, yep. you bump up the engine. They've got like trim systems already kind of set up for this yeah. bike. 131 kits, um, high flow exhaust systems, yes. um, the, the Olin shocks. The Olin shock kit, which I think looks really good. Yep. Um, and they perform really well. We're doing them on a bike out back actually, um, which is looks phenomenal. But the other thing, did you notice the, uh, the Goldwing, they, came out with like gold bronze, wing? gold. Yeah, it's called the gold wing uh, windshields. Oh, the bronze, the bronze, really bronze. So if yeah. you type in the internet and you look this up, you're gonna see like a bronze. Yes. Is, is that, that doesn't come stock. That's an Does accessory. Does not come stock, that's bronze an accessory. Win, yeah. But it complements the wheels, I think, okay. really, really well, which is nice. Plus they have that 117. Yep. So again, like more power. CVOs. CVOs. Yep, people wanna know about the CVOs. Pop quiz, when did CVOs start? Mm, I think 1999. Yep, you know that because Cheryl Crow wrote a song about it. Yep, 1999. So, um, did, did she? I don't know, John. I'm just trying to, okay. just trying to throw you off. So, uh, what's big? What's new for CVOs this year? Uh, well, first off, they added a CVO model, the CVO Road Glide Limited now, which is which, exciting. Thankful that they yes, came out, came back out with that. Because now you have 
you know, instead of the Rogue Glide Limited, uh, or the Ultra Limited CVO, the Rogue Glide Limited CVO, because we know those are super that desirable. That will be a fast seller for us. But uh, I, what I thought was cool is when you look at a lot of premium vehicles, everyone uses like Alcantara. And what is that? I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I, I, I'm honest, I, I, I don't like know. I feel like it's like fancy suede is probably the best way. I didn't look up the definition, but it's like fancy suede. Okay. It's a premium uh, line, but they did that on the backrest and on the seat of the CVO Limited. First time Harley's ever used. Just the CVO Road Glide Limited. Yep. Not on the trike or the street glide. I did not see it on the trike okay. or the street glide. Okay. And so this it, is what we know right now. We're, yep. we're we're learning as we go. So when people watch this video later on and they're like, they didn't know what they were talking about. Yes. I mean, we, that's probably Which true. Which sometimes we don't. And yeah. I think maybe maybe you a, a little bit more than yep. me sometimes. Yeah. No, you and, clearly um, did your research. Well, I had to. I wanted to make sure I came ready to play. Yeah. Because we a all lot of you have a license to ball with this stuff, and I yep. want to make sure like. I step correct. Um, so big, I like that. Big bold colors this year, yeah. like really bold colors. But the the hand uh, the hand um, uh, techniques that they went into mm -hmm. this apparently are are quite extensive. Um, well, we they've done fade jobs in the past, and Brad Richards at the Motor Company said most manufacturers like doesn't Brad Richards the the guy? I mean, he's basically the the head of this. Doesn't he sometimes call you and get your opinion on bikes and stuff? I, that would be very cool. Brad, that would be very cool. Give me a buzz. 802-476-6104. We'll keep it classy. <laughs> you should have um, just rolled with him. I'm like, yeah, sometimes yeah, we talk. Yeah, we talk all the time. Okay. He's my buddy. So Brad Richards oversees all this stuff. And yeah. he basically talked about like pearl, the different pearl effects and the... Um, well, the, they do a hand-laid pinstriping on the CVO. Working with the, Gunslinger. And working with Gunslinger. And then they hand feed them. So it's like... Anytime you do anything by hand, it takes a lot more time. But you think of the quality of what the paint shops look like. Like certain colors, the uh, Wicked Orange Pearl and the Hightail Yellow Pearl are like, those are... That's uh, the color, the names of the colors. Those are the name of some of the colors, yeah. Those are the, the cream of the crop of CVO colors. Okay. Um, you know, so much so that they're, they're actually additional cost to get those colors. So Rockford Fosgate stage one throughout. Uh, stage one on the, the Tri-Glide CVO. Okay, and the Rogue Glide. And the Rogue Glide Limited CVO, okay. yep. Stage two on the Street Glide and the Rogue Glide. Oh, okay, I did yeah. not know that. Yep. Okay, what else? Um, so then the other exciting thing was uh, I did like on the CVO Tri-Glide, they came out with Dante's Red Fade. So did you see that? I, I didn't because I was typing up notes while it was going, so I missed that. Mm, I wrote it down. So Dante's Red Fade is, uh, so they do a red fade paint. Which, On which, which model? CVO Triglide. Okay. Um, and so they do, a, a Dante's Red Fade is like, so they do the red fade paint, which no manufacturer does because it costs too much money to do it right and, and it's really hard to execute. But then they do, uh, they incorporate flames with it. And so the flames, the higher you go, the flames turn into ghost flames. And the lower on the paint where the red gets brighter, they become more apparent. Maybe Cam can insert like a picture of this. Yeah, Cam, insert here. Uh, that would be awesome. And uh, so I thought that was really cool, but I think the new colors are pretty impressive. They are, I yeah. love the colors. What's the yellow? What do they call the yellow? Uh, yellow is called high tail yellow pearl. It's hot. Yeah. Okay, accessories. Yeah. Where do you want Can to start? we talk about the accessories? I don't see why not. Well, it wasn't on that here. world premiere. Uh, we can talk about them a little bit because right. they, they've come out with some and they're on the website. Okay. So I know you and I look because we try and figure out who can get the new accessories for Pan Am first. Right. Which we I both ordered. Money to you you lost money yesterday. Yep. yep. I bet you that I ordered some new accessories before you did. Uh huh. And then Tom, Tom sided with you. It turns I, out the, there's a quick shifter. Yep. For the Pan America. But here's the, here we, we got to find the, find out some details on that because yes. my understanding is maybe it doesn't fit our models. Yeah, wiring the harness is slightly different. Yeah, I'll have to figure that out. Quick yeah. shifter on the Pan America, yep. new accessory, um, which is really cool because it releases, replaces the stock shifter. It yep. basically just uh, cuts out fuel in the ignition system for just a millisecond. When, um, you, when you go to shift. When you so shift. you don't have to use your clutch yep. up shift exactly. or down shift because when you down shift it would actually just blips the throttle. throttle. Yep. Nailed it man. Crazy. You did your okay. homework. Amplifier for what, what other accessories did you because we'll just hit this. Well they quick. came out with the Rockford uh, subwoofer kits. Okay. So those go right they fit in your saddlebag. Um, they run on dual channels, so uh, I believe they're a 10-inch 
subwoofer, but you can put those in your bags for additional. And those are like days. 125 watts per channel. Yeah, that's a yeah. Set, they that's take a up loud two sensors. channels per system. Yep. So it's pretty impressive. So that was a big one I liked. Flat out bar. Yep. I thought that was cool. If you don't know what a flat out bar is, that's the bar that basically just stays, comes out straight off of, and you, you see them on a lot of Dynas and mm -hmm. some road glides out there. And we have a bike, a pre-owned bike with that, but really cool design for, um, you, you know, for Harley Davidson models, yep. they're, they're set up so you don't have to customize Gives you some anything. protection, but yep. it looks good. It's a little bit more low yep. key than an comes engine guard. Comes off the, like, the, like an engine guard basically. Yep. Um, so I like what that. Else? The drag Those seat, come in black and chrome, on. by the way, those flat out Bars. Oh, I didn't know they came in chrome too. Yep. yep. Um, we already touched on the drag seat. That's got the raised pillion, and that has adjustment in it as well, yep. which is cool. So this four drag seat, if you're describing it, because they can't see this. Yeah. It, 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 for the ro for the ST models, the Street Glide and Road Glide models, it it basically is like got a really s significant lift, so that when you really get after it, yes, you push up against that. And it's um, it's low profile. With they did a, like an aluminum. Uh, seat pan. Yep. So it just helps with two strength different, and keep um, it together. Two different uh, colors. Colors. Yeah. Yeah. Black, or you could do like the raw. I like the raw. Yeah. 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 Keep it. Okay. What else? Real. What are our other accessories? Because if we got to wrap this thing up, we're, uh, we're well, they came out. We already touched on the windshields. Uh, they came out with compact travel covers, which are kind of nice. So for people who are, you know, mm -hmm. let's say you're someone that's a weekender and you don't, you like to keep your bike clean. Uh, compact travel covers that are basically the size of a 64 ounce bottle. Uh, fluid and they just go over the fundamentals on the bike top of bags top of fairing top of tank uh, Which I thought was kind of neat. You can keep it right in your saddlebags. So you're not yep. hauling around a huge cover all the time What about that like a different mono shock? They came out with a different mono shock system for the soft yep. tails uh, to the raise soft tail it up. tall shock. Yep. Yep. Th that's cool raises the you know, it'll raise up the look of the of the bike um, It's a lot of a lot more sound systems subwoofers. Yep. Um, uh, different sound systems. They came out with new yep. headsets which are really cool, yep. including the 50C headset, which um, has uh, Rockford Fosgate actually came out with stage one headset speakers, which are cool. Um, but the C headset has a built-in camera for video and taking pictures. And some new performance kits. And some new performance kits, yep. which are nice. Plus a few other different like- and shock systems. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think the last thing they talked about the, uh, they're coming out with what they're, what they, uh, this year they're gonna have some type of ride challenge it's going to start in April and it's going to end in September and they're going to choose 120 people that will that complete that challenge so 120 riders that they will invite for an all expense paid trip to the 120th anniversary oh that would be awesome year. yeah yeah so basically April so if you I guess if you watch Harley Davidson dot com you're gonna you're gonna get be able to enter in to do this ride challenge I don't know what the ride challenge is right now but that's that was pretty cool Bill Davidson talked about that which was which was fun you know what else came in the mail this morning Colors, color book. Okay, so we have well, all of them. We won't bore the video. Can you just? Can them. you? Could you just quickly like uh, flip through some of the brighter ones and just say yeah. say the name so that people some can... of the some of the colors that people may not have seen. Uh, Gunship gray. So that's a really cool color. That was a CVO color in 2018. That's going to be one of the more desirable ones this year. Redline red is a new color. Um, also reef blue. We have that on a heritage here currently. Fastback blue, new color this year. White sand pearl. Uh, grino uh, mineral green. Were metallic. you going to say granola? I was going to say granola. Oh, is actually what I was going to say, okay. which is the abbreviated version. That is in a denim as well, and then a few two tone options. But the other thing that I like. These color booklets are nice. It's nice to like give you an idea, but it's nothing replaces the real thing. Um, I get an email. We have between 18 and 20 bikes, a full truck coming tomorrow. Oh, cool. Um, so if you so want to see the colors, if you want to see the bikes, stop in. They're arriving. We do have we do have a we handful. We do have some now. Yep, a handful now that just arrived. We got a full truck coming tomorrow. But a full truck coming on uh, Thursday. Thursday. Yep. So yeah, if you're watching this, it's a Thursday. Swing down. Chili cook off on Saturday. Chili cook off on Saturday. If you haven't so entered, there's still time to enter. What else? That's it. We're that, that's the big news. Do the sign off. That's the big news. This is John and John signing off. Yes. Hope you guys keep it real. Drink milk. Ride fast. Oh yeah. We have a Party on, Garth. Yeah, there's uh